Hello out there. God bless you there. And you two prayer warriors out there, YouTube land. God bless you. New prophecy. New prophecy. Shout it from the mountains. Shout it from the north, south, east, and west. New prophecy. Signed for Antichrist Obama's NATO meeting. Solar eclipse. Yes, solar eclipse. We'll get into that real soon, but I had a dream about President Obama the other night. In the last five years, I've been warning the people. I pray for my President Obama. I love him. I pray for his family, but I don't love what he does and destroys this United States of America, our sovereignty, our nation. And uh, in this prayer, President Obama comes to my church here. And President Obama, you're welcome any time to come lease the Brother Ministry in Pinkneyville, Illinois. And you look around the people, and I'm raising my hands to heaven because I'm praising God. And, and you're looking around. I think what this dream means that President Obama is watching my videos. I, I pray you enjoy the videos, President Obama. And uh, anyway, uh, I, I like to cast that Muslim spirit out of you, that demon of that Muslim in you. I know you're not a Christian. You tell everybody you're a Christian, and the whole world and the people of the United States are Christian know that you are a Muslim. And we pray for you, President Obama. We pray that Jesus will save your soul, that we need a miracle here. But right now, on this sign of uh, Antichrist Obama, NATO's meeting uh, for May the 20th and 21st, 2012, that here's a sign for Antichrist Obama for here. We're going to have a solar eclipse. A solar eclipse on May the 20th is when the NATO meeting in Chicago, Illinois is happening. Is uh, when the moon comes between the sun and the earth and it's darkened. And it's like uh, this new world order right here is uh, wicked and out in the dark. And the new world order and Antichrist Obama, they worship the occult. They worship the moon, the sun, and the New Agers, and this is the sign what's going to happen in Chicago, Illinois. That uh, They planned this on that date. It wasn't accidental, coincidental. It was a divine rendezvous for the New World of Plans. That they got the darkness, the army of darkness behind them. So keep your eyes on Chicago. I really believe the protests will be terrible. I had a dream about this three years ago. I've seen a lot of people that go to round up these NATO troops, and it's going to be... The Chicago police there, it's going to be the National Guard, the Armed Forces, Secret Service. I think there'll be blood in the streets. It's going to be terrible here. It could be a lot of violence. Worse than the 1968 Chicago Democratic Convention when they were chasing the hippies down there with tanks and cruising the streets of Chicago. And I just want to warn the people today uh, with love, not combination guilt. And I got the Word of God to back this, the Bible here in the Holy Bible. In uh, Luke chapter 21, verses 25 through uh, 33. Here it is. <clears throat> Listen, open your spiritual ears. You Christian prayer warriors there. You you uh, YouTubers out there for the glory be to God. And there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and in the stars and upon the the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and looking after those things which, which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man, that is Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Messiah, the King of kings and Lord of lords, coming in a cloud with the power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. And he spake to them in a parable. Behold, the fig tree and all the trees, when they now shoot forth, ye see and know of yourselves that summer is not now nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at the hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. The word of God will stand forever and ever. 
And what you're seeing in Chicago, and Mayor Ram uh, Emanuel, God be with us. Remember, he was uh, Antichrist Obama's chief of staff in the White House. Now he's the mayor of Chicago, and we've seen these things happening. The Antichrist Obama, and with the NATO meeting here with this sign, the solar eclipse on May the 20th, 2012, we, we're seeing God's prophecy being fulfilled here. It won't be long. Chapter Revelation uh, 13 will be fulfilled. And keep your eyes on Chicago because uh, it was a movie back, I think, in the 1980s called The Blues Brothers. And it's kind of funny here. Sometimes the Hollywood New World Order gurus and Mongols uh, out there give us uh, a little peep uh, uh, coming attractions in their movies about, I guess, The Blues Brothers. Uh, John Eight Jake come out of uh, John, uh, John Eight prison and went to Chicago, and then they was trying to uh, save the orphanage and, and stand up, you know. Uh, and they had a big state cop, a uh, Chicago police uh, kind of chase there. And now the New World Order people that the protesters going to take him to John Eight uh, prison is closed. They're going to take him from Chicago. It's kind of like uh, history repeating itself, re reverse psychology. Uh, they're taking them back to Joliet Prison, whoever they uh, catch in Chicago, Illinois. But anyway, I wanted to warn you today, and these signs is going to happen. You're seeing the solar eclipse there on that day. That's very important. The New World Order, Antichrist, Obama, they worship the sun, the moons, the planets, the pagans, the New Agers, and the sign of the Lord that won't be long. Jesus Christ will be returning. So I want you to say this prayer with me today. I've been preaching the gospel 27 years, and every day it's been great. It's been fun doing the Lord's work, but the greatest uh, blessing every day when somebody accepts Jesus Christ as a personal Savior, when I lead somebody to the Lord, I thank you today. Say this prayer with me. Some of you out there have been running a long time. Don't put it off uh, no more because yesterday's gone, today's day of salvation, and tomorrow might not come. This is your day. This is your destiny. This is your greatest decision in your life. Turn your life over to the Lord today. Agree with me in prayer. And Jesus Christ will save your soul today. Before it's too late. I don't want my worst enemy in hell. Hell's a terrible place. With gnashing, gashing, and taste. Where the worm dies. Not and, and spiritual torment. But the real hell. The hell is the separation of Jesus Christ. And you're in total darkness. It's a terrible place. You don't want your worst enemy in hell. Say this prayer with me today. In North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, for the glory be to God. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, my name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm born again. If you said that prayer, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is your greatest decision. Give Jesus the best hand clap. You just accepted the King of King and Lord, Lord, the Savior and Messiah of the whole world and the whole universe. For the glory be to God. And uh, write me and Betty Kelly on George and Betty Kelly's channel on YouTube. We thank YouTube putting this video on today. And uh, anyway, in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, we pray that you'll give us an uh, email or you uh, uh, see our address there. It'll be on our comment section to tell us you step to Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. I lift up my hand to you today. May the hand of the Lord be upon you for the glory be to God. God's hands upon you in Jesus' holy name. Let the hand of the Lord rest upon you from the crown of your head to the soles of the feet. Let the Holy Ghost of fire come down for the glory be to God. Lord, let thy mantle fall down on the people that uh, accept you as a personal Savior today, Lord. Let, let the fire of God come down. Fill them with the Holy Ghost of fire anointing. Give them deliverance. Give them healing, Lord Jesus. I thank you today, Lord Jesus. Me and Betty Kelly be praying for you. Be praying for me and Betty Kelly and at least the brethren, ministries in Pinkneyville. I know we love you. Amen. Shalom. Sonar. Over and out. Till the next video. May God bless you from the north, south, east, and west. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.